The following is an EHC Media Production. Hi everyone, Ibeza here and just want to let you know about my two YouTube channels that you might like. First, I have a WWE related channel. I play WWE games, I talk about WWE, uh, the real product and all that sort of stuff. And the other channel, I just play a wider variety of games. The links are in the description of this video, so please head on over and check me out. Thanks very much. You can't just say, hey, I'm a wrestler. There has to be a lot of work involved and a lot of training. This is really what I should be doing. He is known as Big Thing. Big Thing? It should be Big Fat Thing! I don't know how this loser got a shot with me. I'm the champ. It's all over for ya! I'm gonna make you sorry you ever stepped in the ring. Join two regular guys as they try to break into big time professional wrestling. Rent or buy this hilarious comedy at FloridaBushLeagueWrestling.com. What's going on, RWT family? My name is Mike Larkin, one third of the Max Wrestling Podcast, one half of the SM Show Podcast, and just an overall podcaster who's enjoying life and having fun at what he does. Welcome to the debut edition of the Future Is Now NXT recap. We're taking a look back at the June 27th, 2018 edition of NXT, in which we saw in the main event the Undisputed Era take on the team of Tyler Bate and Trent Severn, Mustache Mountain, and the High Flying Ricochet, the one and only Ricochet. And we saw a lot of angles, and we saw a lot of matches that are going to progress into feuds, and just an overall, overall high impact show, and a great show at that. And like I said, I'll probably be very repetitious in what I say with NXT, but NXT is where it's at. My goodness. Watch what the product that we have here compared to the WWE roster at times and, and for a good portion generally. Man, it's just every time I watch NXT, I smile. Does it have its moments where it's meh? Absolutely. But you know what I got to say? NXT more than likely will deliver each and every time. So very uh, excited to talk about this past week's NXT with you guys. So the show opens... Alistair Black is coming out talking about defending against Lars Sullivan, who we found out had a broken jaw uh, in that matchup. He sustained a broken jaw, talking about he made him fade to Black. But no rest for the weary for Alistair Black, as the psycho killer himself, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, comes out and pretty much is saying that, you know, Alistair, there's a freak in the Windy City. Ciampa won that night's main event against Johnny Gargano with his hands tied behind his back, no less. And more importantly... He wants your NXT championship, and he's going to make you fade to black. Waving at him, smile at him. I love the delivery. I've been saying numerous times on the Max Wrestling Podcast that I definitely want to see Aleister Black and Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT championship. And I'm looking forward to seeing it, because if you guys remember, you know, Tommaso Ciampa's standing on top of the truck there, waving goodbye as Johnny Gargano's going out in the ambulance, and Aleister Black's the one that called him out, so we can hash back to that dynamic there. And I think that would be a tremendous and an absolutely... Uh, excellent match going into the TakeOver Brooklyn card and being the main event all in all is around hole. So, yeah. So, Aleister Black, Tommaso Ciampa, please, give me more. Then we have a nice little showcase match here as the finest in NXT. Kona Reeves goes one-on-one -on -one with Max Humberto. Uh, you know, it was just typically what it needed to be. It accentuated Kona Reeves being the, uh, you know, the new guy that he is. I mean, we've seen him before on NXT, but under this finest moniker, this uh, finest gimmick of NXT, uh, I gotta say, the dude has a great presence about him, a uh, great size, and do I think he's still a little bit green, a little bit experienced right now? Yes, but, you know, he's just gonna excel. I can tell this dude is gonna be something here on the NXT roster. So, Kona Reeves and Max Humberto have their match. Max Humberto gets them hope spots in, but in the end, it is Kona Reeves winning with the Samoan drop for the 1-2-3, and Kona Reeves is your victor. Then we get to a matchup where we see Candice LeRae and Lacey Evans uh, going one-on-one. -on -one. And I got to say right now, uh, Lacey Evans, oof, besides being a beautiful woman, and I love this whole uh, the lady of NXT, I think she's a great heel. I liked her as a babyface, and I like what the work that she puts in in NXT, and I loved watching her in the Mae Young Classic, getting to see her opportunity. Same with Candice LeRae. But man, as a heel, the girl is dynamo. And then you look at a girl like Candice LeRae. You know, Candice wrestling, the crowd loves her. And I gotta say, they both, 
uh, fed off each other very well. Lacey Evans hitting her trademark spots, the Bronco Buster in the corner. Uh, just Lacey Evans being the dominant heel that she is and the overall great performer. Same on Candice LeRae's part. In the end, Candice LeRae hits that springboard moonsault 1-2-3, and Candice LeRae is your victor in that matchup. I should also probably note they highlighted Mustache Mountain, Trent uh, Severn, and Tyler Bate winning the uh, NXT Tag Team Championship in, uh, at the UK tournament. And I just got to say, Congrats to those guys. I'm loving those two, those two as a tag team. See them on the indies. See them in ICW, UK, all around. It's just great wrestling right there. And with the addition of NXT UK, the sky is the limit. Uh, we also see in the background Vanessa Bourne uh, saying, what's the big deal with Kyrie?" So obviously we're going to be seeing a matchup between Kyrie Sane and Vanessa Bourne. Both women were in the Mae Young Classic. And I think Vanessa Bourne is another one who has a lot of potential. And we'll see where that progresses and what will exceed and what will become of the NXT Women's Division with the addition of Vanessa Bourne and all these greats coming in. So be on the lookout there. This leads us to our main event. It's the Undisputed Era against Ricochet and Mustache Mountain in an impromptu six-man tag. Now before this, uh, Trent Severn and Tyler Bate were coming out and uh, the Undisputed Era attacks them. And, you know, they surround the ring, attack Trent, Tyler Bate and Trent Severn. Then Ricochet comes out and helps them. And I got to say, this match exceeded expectations. All men, high octane, aerial assault. Just each and every one of these guys had a great match. It, it's a matchup that, you know what I'm saying, it's just guys with great dynamic, great technique, and just great all-around in-ring. So you are you know you're going to be in store for a great matchup, and an instant classic at that. Uh, the matchup, however, comes to a close in this exciting matchup where we see Ricochet hit the 630 on, uh, excuse me, Kyle O'Reilly. but uh, No, I'm not O'Reilly, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez, who the hell was it? Oh, Roderick Strong. Thank you. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly broke up the pin, and the action spilled to the floor when Strong hits Ricochet with the modified end of heartache onto the edge, and he hit uh, Adam Cole, not Roger Strong. I'm sorry. Brain fart, people. My apologies. It happens. You're also dealing with a guy who's had epilepsy before. I had 15 staples in my head, so I do remember WrestleMania 17 where uh, Matt Hardy had 11 staples in his head, so I could... Say for a, a moment of time in my life that I was uh, more broken than Matt Hardy. Oh, yes. But I digress, folks. Uh, Ricochet hits at 6.30 on uh, Adam Cole. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly breaks it up. Action spills to the floor. Strong hits the, like I mentioned, the modified end of heartache on him on the apron, which, oh, my God, it was sick. Just a great, impactful maneuver. And then Adam Cole covers Ricochet for the 1, 2, 3. And that is the main event of NXT this week. Uh, overall, out of if I was to give it like out of ten, I thought the mat, uh, I thought the uh, show was overall it was a nine. You know, I'll give it a nine point five. I think the only thing I wasn't like so hot about was just I I was kind of, you know what? No, uh, I, I'm trying to think if I could critique something, but guys, I really can't. I thought the show was excellent. I give it a ten out of ten, nine point five. Yeah, I mean, that's just me being critical. It is what it is, folks. But. Yeah, no, I give it a 10 out of 10. There really wasn't anything that I didn't like. I thought the show had a very nice pace. And all in all, it was just um, it was just a great show. That's really all you can say. Like I said, I'll probably be very repetitious in uh, how I feel. But like I said, NXT, the future is now. Um, it's just the NXT UK division. I mean, we came out. We also got Io Shirai from uh, Stardom coming in uh, over the summer. What, the, what she's going to bring to the women's division is amazing. August 8th and August 9th. We have the um, Mae Young Classic coming back. We just had the UK tournament. We have NXT UK. The sky is the limit for NXT. And, and next week, I'm just looking forward to seeing what we got coming, man. So, so next week, we're going to have a lot of great matchups. We're going to have more... Um, sorry, we're going to have more uh, just great dynamic between characters. It's a show. If you're not watching NXT, what are you doing? Turn in. Tune in and just enjoy, my friends. That's really all I can say. So it's going to be a little short one for this week. I'll be back with next week's uh, show for RWT. Just enjoy RWT. Enjoy Max Wrestling. Enjoy the s &M Show podcast. Just enjoy podcasting. And folks, just enjoy what you're doing in life. As long as you're happy and you're having fun, no one can touch you. That's my little uh, final thought for this week. So everyone have a great weekend. I'll talk to you all soon and expect more each and every week. Much love, and uh, the future is now. Goodbye, my friends.